To use the stockmusic.com cue sheets feature, you must be logged into your account. To create a new cue sheet, select the new cue sheet button, name your cue sheet, and hit create. The yellow cue sheet bar at the top of the screen indicates that your cue sheet is now open for editing. Add tracks to a cue sheet by clicking on the green plus sign on the description line. Your cue sheet will remain active and open for editing while you browse throughout the site. When you have finished editing the cue sheet, click the Done button in the yellow bar. A previously created cue sheet can be reopened for editing anytime by clicking the plus button beside the cue sheet name. This allows you to remove items from the cue sheet and add replacements. When you have the cue sheet open, click on the name of the cue sheet to edit details like date, production company name, and other production details. You can also add length of use and type of use details for each cue. From this page, you can also download individual tracks, forward single tracks or all tracks to a colleague, change the order of the track list, or remove tracks from the cue sheet altogether. From the More Action drop-down menu, you can export the cue sheet as either a PDF, Excel, or CSV file, and you can also create a playlist of the tracks in your cue sheet. You can also rename the cue sheet, make a second copy of the cue sheet, or delete the cue sheet completely. When you finish with the cue sheet, click on the Done button in the yellow bar, and then click on any other feature to close the cue sheet and continue on. This has been a basic overview of the functions of the stockmusic.com cue sheet feature. For more information on basic features of the site, or for more information on playlists, please see our other available videos.